goodness, what even happened there? Holy smokes. Wendy's down. What's up, Machine Freaks? I hope you are enjoying your day. I am personally enjoying my day. I have a special guest with me, a super special guest. This, this guy's awesome. I'm not gonna show you him quite yet, but I am going to say that we're gonna get something to eat. Holy smokes. We don't even gotta go shopping anymore. We'll just throw one of them in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> so I am here with Mr. Jake the Toilet Snake. We're going to Wendy's. I'm gonna treat this dude because uh, he's the bee's knees. I got to. Jake, I'm, I'm buying you lunch. Okay. It's on me. Was lunch good, Jake? It's fantastic. We got we got some awesome drinks. They have like a very sophisticated machine. I got peach and uh, pink lemonade. What kind of lemonade did you get? Strawberry. Is it good? It works. Is it it my, like strawberry. My my mixture is pretty good. We're actually walking across the street, well, across the parking lot. This isn't the bike. <laughs> Air filter cleaner spray. Will that clean it good? It's supposed to clean it better than gasoline. So what, they said that gas eats up eats up the foam? Yeah, prematurely. But no, that's that's not the new bike. That's That's far from the new bike. This bike, this bike is still going to be amazing in its own kind of way. Jake, do you even know what we're buying? I don't think you know what we're buying either. Not exactly, no. How many cc is it, Jake? A thousand! One thousand. That's a lot of cc-age. I like that kind of cc-age. Jake and I are in hot pursuit of a new motorcycle. We are on the throughway currently. We're starting this 3D Machines production out right. We got full stomachs, we're ready to rock and roll. So far on this journey, we've gone probably 30 miles. I've already learned one thing about Jake. Jake, I'm not listening to you when it comes to directions. <laughs> Within like one mile, with not even, maybe three quarters of a mile, half a mile, he told me to make two turns. Both turns were wrong. Luckily, I only listened to him about the one, made one wrong turn, made an illegal U-turn, and uh, got us back on track. That's why you're staying in that seat. I'm gonna stay in this seat with this thing right here. Yeah, I, I'm no longer gonna be the... Uh, you're not the co-pilot. Yeah. You're not considered the co-pilot anymore. I need to find a rock on the side of the road and we'll give him the title and uh, that way I won't get lost. Hey, what do you got there on the, the cup holder there? Yeah, what's that? Oh, these are uh, new wrap plastic stickers. How many of those you got? It doesn't matter. You got plenty, man. That's, that's awesome. That's... Braptastic. Yeah. He's gonna be reaping in the horsepower. If you want any Braptastic decals, all the information is in the description. You're gonna need him to keep up with me. Oh, yeah. snap! If you're gonna race Jake at, at any event, make sure you have one, otherwise he's, he's gonna smoke you. This motorcycle is two miles away. Or two miles, two hours away. I, I think we're getting a good deal. Hey, I like a good deal. What about you? You Do you like a good deal? Jake, do you, Jake likes a good deal. I say we're halfway. Halfway? I don't think the D-Max is that braptastic. This journey has just begun. Already loving it. I listen to Jake and see where it gets me? Oh, stop. Look at this. We got nothing but backup traffic. Don't listen to Jake the Toilet Snake when it comes to directions. That's why they don't call him Jake the GPS Snake. Jake, don't shoot that. Okay. <laughs> We're in the city, we gotta wreak a little havoc. <laughs> it's back. You haven't heard that in a while, have you? I haven't heard that in a while. Before Jake and I get too far into our journey, I just want to explain exactly what we're trying to accomplish here. I am buying a new bike, but I'm not gonna use it for a bike. You guys know I got the Gator. Jake knows I got the Gator. We're gonna take this engine, this 1,000cc engine, and throw it in the Gator. That's right, we're gonna throw in the Gator. Jake was wondering, Jake, tell him what you were wondering. I, I was wondering how the Gator performed on hills such as Hang On Hill before he does his engine swap. And we were cracking up laughing when he was describing how he was capable of climbing the hills. I, I could not climb up Hang On Hill. Hang On Hill is prob probably what, our second or third most difficult hill? Probably. So third or, yeah, third or so most difficult hill, it would not climb up that. He then asked me if I could go up like a really easy hill. I told him no. I said I couldn't even go up the hill that leads up to that hill. And when I did try to climb 
the, the easiest tell, I had to ride it like a damn scooter. <laughs> like I had to literally, my girlfriend's sitting in the shotgun seat. I'm sitting there with my left foot pedaling it, kicking it to try to get up this hill. I'm not kidding you, you can't make this stuff up. I think a thousand cc, what do you think? Is that, that's gotta be plenty, right? That's, oh. that's probably overdoing it. Yeah, but you really can't overdo it. Well, that's right. The power is always nice to have up there. That's right. <laughs> Okay, that'd be awesome. We're gonna take off and we gotta get back to Gowanda. Right. Thank you. Have fun, thank you. What'd you say? Check out the damage we're loading the bike. Are you kidding me? Son of a gun. Dude, the thing ain't even running yet and it's hurting you. I know. What the heck? We got it strapped down. I hope it doesn't move. Jake. I don't think it will. Are you sure? I know my strap will hold. Well, well your strap will hold? Oh, come on. Jake and I stopped at Burger King. We it's two fast food things in one trip. I mean, this is a very far trip. It's well, I get hungry easily too. You know how they have like a dispenser? No. You know how it like comes out of a thing? Yeah. Like a funnel type thing? Yeah. It shoots right in my cup. Boom! Sprays all over my hands. <laughs> Didn't get any on my shirt though. Well, that's good. That's a nice shirt. So I'm like, I'm like, you want this back, right? And she looks in there, she's like, oh, what'd you do? I'm like, it broke. You broke the freaking thing? Jake found it very appropriate to update you guys. Uh, we picked up the bike. The guy was a gentleman. Yeah, was I, got, I got injured while loading the bike. So you need to go to the bathroom. So we do you guys there. take Canadian? All right, thank you. They do take Canadian guys. Then we get out to the vehicle and Dalton's GPS is going all buggy and it sends us to like do a U-turn and it says no truck U-turn. So Dalton's like, oh, we'll try it anyways. So we pop the curve and all do sorts a legal of U-turn. And then he runs a red light. Yep. And then he ran a red light. Like the next stop, like, he's like, he's like, frig it. <laughs> and then just goes. So 2018. <laughs> Uh, what year is it? 1979? Yeah, it's an old fire. <laughs> 1000. 1000. We don't know the model. Load it up. Jake got stabbed. Go. It looks great. It's starting to rain though. Well, so we get this sucker unloaded so we're not getting soaked. Yeah. It's coming in! I hear it! I like how it's lightning out and I'm holding a big metal rod. I feel like Benjamin Franklin right now. Turn her up. He didn't even come with a key! What the f Okay, if this goes bad, uh, call the cops, please. Jake, you got a new bike. I think I got it right. Oh, you got it on the other stand, huh? Just in time, the rain's pouring. Yeah, it is. We're gonna shut this. Look at this thing, Jake. It's a beast. This is what I bought. Like when we came home, we saw some pretty dark skies that you guys saw in the time lapse. What we have here, you guys haven't seen it yet. We got a four cylinder, 1000 cc, 1979 Suzuki. Not sure what the model is. Is it seized in the, uh, like rev position? I'm not really sure. Because if it is, that's perfect. The process on getting this running is probably seeing if we have spark, seeing if we have compression. One, once we have those two things, then I just kind of hook up a gas tank and we just go for it. Do you have a compression tank? A compression tank? Yeah. On the top of your head, do you know what a 1979 1000 Suzuki uh, model we have no idea is for compression? I don't. <laughs> you should probably look it up. I don't even know if Google's gonna have that. Oh. Google wasn't invented back then. There's a blue monster running around Dalton's house. We're gonna compression test this thing. Jake, you're gonna get the spark plugs out? Sure. Uh, I'll get the fogging oil and the compression tester ready. This guy's track record, this, this machine, is actually very, very good. It's a tank. It's a tank, yes. 90 horsepower tank. 90 freaking horsepower. We were dealing with like a 14 horsepower lawnmower engine. 
Now we got a four cylinder 90cc 1000 or, or, or yeah. Now we have a 90 horsepower 1000cc tank. Back in 1979, this was the fastest street bike, Jake? Yep. 2017's here. Now it's gonna be the fastest gator. Mr. Google, what did we find out when we did our research? When you did your research? I found out that, oh, it's a GS 1000. But what are we kind of looking for for compression? Like what? Like 120 is good, but you're supposed to test compression warm. And obviously this thing doesn't run, so anything above 90, I would say, is good. What's in between 90 and 120? Golden! Going with 110 for the first cylinder with no fogging oil. I forgot, I'm sorry. 110! Woo! Let's see what happens here. Okay! <laughs> 110. 110! Woo -hoo -hoo! You might have a fast gator after all. Oh, we're gonna have a fast gator. Whether it's firing on two cylinders or four. <laughs> we we'll only have 45 horsepower. Who cares? <laughs> That's still a big step from, uh, from the 14 or 12 or whatever we had before. All right, buddy, I'm gonna trust you to watch that. I'm gonna stay on the other side here. Okay, I won't lie to you. What do we got? That one almost said 120. <laughs> Even more horsepower! Last one, last one! If, if this last cylinder's good, we're doing good. See if we got spark, even closer. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! Well, it is the lubricated ones did do better than the, the non-lubricated one. Let's lube this one up and see what it would do. We had 120. The lube is key! Jake, what did we find out? We found out that this beautiful machine here this thousand horsepower machine with all this raw ponies is not quite ready to go in the gator. Why is that? Because we currently do not have any spark, but all the cylinders are reading good in compression. Well, that's good. That, that's a start. And I'm, I'm sure we have plenty of airflow going into the engine. I mean, we have absolutely no uh, air box, so we should have plenty of air. Once I throw fuel down its throat, it should have plenty of fuel. We have compression. One more thing. That's all you need for the nice little mixture called run. Jake, I appreciate you coming with me. Thank you very oh, much. I, I, I know that these guys appreciate it too. Uh, we, you're welcome also. We got food. We got a bike. We got some more food. Don't have any spark, but now we got to go inside and get more food. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out and Jake to throw that snake out. See ya!